Yes, apple cider vinegar can definitely help dogs with allergies, so please try that out and let me know how it goes. When I moved back to Salt Lake City, Lucy's allergies got so bad that she started looking less like a bully breed and more like a Dalmatian. It was so embarrassing and every vet that I called was booked out for weeks. So I wanted to show you guys all the products that I've currently been using to help keep Lucy's allergies under control. First one, we feed Rod. Absolute game changer. Raw diets provide our dogs with the most bioavailable nutrition in the form that dogs' bodies are designed to absorb. In fact, I came across a study just a few days ago. I'm going to leave it in the comments if I can find it for you guys again. But really what it showed is that even if you just replace like 20% of your dog's diet with a raw food, it showed to have significant improvements in dogs who struggled with allergies. The next one, which I'm actually completely all out of right now, is local honey. Since it contains small amounts of pollen from your area, it can kind of help your dog build up a tolerance to their symptoms. So I would just put like a teaspoon on her kibble or on her lick bat just every now and then. This next one was an absolute lifesaver for Lucy's skin. I'm actually going to show you a picture of her skin before. And then I'm going to show you a picture of her skin after just to show you how much of a difference it made. That's Petal and Tails Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It's completely hyperallergenic, it's pH balanced, and it's specifically made for pets with sensitive skin. I'm actually almost out right now, so I need to make another order for these, but I could not recommend these enough, and they will leave your dog smelling amazing for literally days. I love it. And then the next one that I'd recommend to you guys I'm actually also completely out of, which is Native Pets Probiotics. They support your dog's gut health, which will then boost their immune system. And the stronger the immune system, the better chance your dog has at fighting off allergic reactions. And then the next one that I'd recommend is also another Native Pet product that I do actually have this time, and that's um, their Mega Oil. I do like two pumps of this on top of her kibble every single day. I've said this before, but if I could give my dog one supplement, it would be this one. There's just so many health benefits to it. You can also use sardines, and then I also like to give her some of these Honest Kitchen um, Ocean Chews. As you can see, these are full of protein and the omega oils, and really what the omega oil does is it targets inflammation of your dog's skin and just kind of helps relieve itchiness. Stick with me, guys. I got three more for you. Uh, the next one is Oxyfresh's Ear Cleaner. This one's amazing. Even though she doesn't really get um, as many ear infections as she used to, I still like to use this on her like at least once a month just to make sure they don't ever come back. But when she was getting ear infections, this one worked amazing. Um, it gets rid of the odor and it helps with the itchiness. Um, completely hyperallergenic. Definitely a good one. I also really like Earth Rated Dogs Wipe. I like using these after we go on walks just to help remove like any dirt, pollen, or allergens that may have accumulated while we are outside. And it's also really good to kind of help extend time between baths. And last but not least is Chippin's Pill Pods. These are amazing for hiding allergy pills or really just any pill in general. They're also omega rich and Cricut is a natural prebiotic fiber. So it's also good for your dog's gut health. And these treats also help protect the rainforest. And that's all I have for you guys. I really hope that this was helpful. Please let me know down in the comments if there's any other products that you guys would like for me to review. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye guys.